we need to pray. In Luke chapter 18 verse 1. Luke 18 verse 1. Jesus told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray. How? Always. Everybody say always. Always. Jesus told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not to turn discouraged, faint, lose heart, and give up. Men, is Jesus told them a parable to effect that they ought always to pray. Always. This scripture makes us understand that prayer is an habitual lifestyle of a Christian living. This passage here, this scripture, Luke 18 verse 1, the scripture makes us understand that prayer is an habitual lifestyle of a Christian living. We don't have to see evil rain falling before we pray. When the evil rain is already falling, it takes the mercy of God for your voice to be heard. Men ought always to pray and not to discourage. Always. It's a habitual lifestyle of a Christian living. Prayer. You have to be attending prayer meeting often and often without tired. It's the habit of Jesus. Say after me, I'm Christ. Christ is the Lord. That is what 1 Corinthians 3 23 said. So, the habit of Jesus should be your habit. 1 Corinthians 2 16 said, For who have the mind of Christ? For we have the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ is always pray, it's always praying. The mind of Christ is a prayerful mind. Men ought to pray and not to faint, not to discourage, not to lose hope. Not to lose heart, not to give up. He said, it's, it's a thing you do steady and steady. Listen, when the going gets tough, pray. When the rain is falling, pray. When there is sunshine, pray. When all is well, pray. When it is tough and tough, pray. When there is joy everywhere, pray. Don't expect evil rain to knock at your door before you say you pray. Don't ridicule those who are frequently prayer meeting. Don't ridicule those that always wake up in the night and pray. Don't say they are disturbing you. Don't be mimicking. Don't, don't be making jest of them. Don't be throwing words at them because they are prayerful. The mind of Christ. They pray always without faint. They pray always without being discouraged. Some of them we said, nothing is pursuing me. I don't know why they are frequented church always. I don't know where prayer meeting everywhere. Nothing is wrong with me. I believe he is a witchcraft. I believe she is a witchcraft. Who said that? The mind of Christ is a prayerful mind. He prayed every day. Jesus even went back on fasting. He fasted 40 days and 40 nights. Matthew chapter 4 verse 1. You all know about it. Don't expect evil rain or evil wind to be blowing before you say you want to pray. It takes the grace and mercy of God for your voice to be heard. When the thing is already knocking at your door. It's not a thing you do anywhere, whenever you like. It's a thing you do steady and steady. Let's look at Luke chapter 22 verse 39 to 40. Luke chapter 22 verse 39 to 40. And he came out and went as as was his habit. As was his what? Habit. 
to the Mount of Olive. And the disciples also followed Jesus. They followed him. And, and when he came to the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not at all enter into temptation. He says, so that the disciples will never at all enter into no trace of temptation will come into their life when you are prayerful. He says, so that you may not at all, like second line, second to the last line, that pray that you may not at all enter into temptation. Pray that you may not at all there's no trace of temptation will come when you are prayerful. If you are prayerful and the temptation still come, you will know that if, if not the prayer, that would have been a temptation that would break the ignorant rock, break the mountain. Now, one thing, one thing I love about this Matthew, uh, Luke chapter 22, verse 39 to 40. He said that her as was his habit. It means the habit of Jesus is a prayerful habit. Look at it. And Jesus came out and went as was his habit. So the habit of Jesus is a prayerful habit to the Mount of Holif. And the disciples also followed Jesus. And when he came to the place, he told them, Pray that you may not at all enter so into temptation. It means the habit of Jesus is a prayerful habit. Let your habit be a prayerful habit. Don't expect you to be caged before you be expecting freedom. Fire brigade preparation is not always good. If you know you are Christ, let your mind never let your mind never be different. The mind of Christ is a prayerful mind. Men will be saying prayer, church, 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 church. Nothing is wrong with me. I am not a witchcraft. I know there is no soil in my body. Praise the Lord. When the, when the, when the fire is burning at your door, it takes the grace of God for your fire brigade prayer to rescue you. There are a lot of things prayer will do for you. In Matthew 17, 18 to 21, Matthew 17, 18 to 21, there was a guy that was possessed with evil spirits. They went to the disciples. They, they took him to the disciples. The disciples couldn't cut the demon out. Later, the parents now brought him, the guy, to the same guy who was damned, said, brought him to Jesus. And Jesus rebuked the devil and cast the devil out of him. And they healed the guy. The guy was made whole. And Jesus rebuked the demon and it came out of him. And the boy was cured instantly. Then the disciples came to Jesus and asked privately, Why could we not drive this demon out? The, the disciples came to Jesus privately and asked him, why could we not cast that devil, the demon out? He said to them, Jesus said to them, because of the littleness of your faith, that is your lack of family relying trust. This is the definition of uh, the faith he's talking about. That is your lack of family relying trusting in the Lord. For truly I say to you, if you have faith, that is living you know they are dead faith if you have faith that is living like a grain of master seed but the faith is living but very small but it's living you can say to this mountain move from here to yonder place and it will move and nothing will be impossible to you but this kind of miracle does not go out except by prayer and fasting so do you expect a miracle? Be prayerful. Be prayerful. Don't expect this. You know the Bible said when a man slept, 
He said, his enemy came to sow a seed. Don't expect the enemy to come and sow a seed first. After sowing seed, before you start to, start to pray so that the seed will be removed. There are a lot of scars in the body that can hardly go. After being injured. There are some spiritual deposition. When they live there, the pothole will still be there. Even where prayer have removed it. The pothole. Because the programming was already there. When the prayer now remove it, the scar will still be there. That will make people to say, oh, this guy or this woman had this kind of problem before. Don't expect the rain to be falling before you say you want to pray. Don't ridicule or laugh at those that go to prayer meeting every time. Rise up always every night and pray. A prayerful person is a powerful person. A Christian living is a prayer, is a prayer living. It's a prayerful life living. A prayer, a life of prayer. Listen, prayer, praying, you, you praying often and often, waking up in the night to pray, praying often and often and often, can open your spiritual eyes. It can make the Lord to begin to reveal things to you. It can make God to always involve in all your doings. It also provoke the move of angels. Your prayer unlock you from different bondages. Your prayer make your spiritual senses to be alive. Many people have spiritual dead senses. They never see spiritually. Many have, it has been a long time. Many see real dreams. Your dream is your real life. I'm not talking about you dream about this and this and that. When the day when they break, it means nothing. It's like a dream of a drunkard. I mean a real dream. When you are prayerful, often and often, your spirit is alive unto God. A life of prayer is a life of Christ. If your master can fast, if your master can be prayerful every day, instructing the disciples to be prayerful so that to avoid, so that no trace of temptation at all will enter their life. You have to be prayerful. Miracles, signs and wonders never, never take place without praying and then fasting. You know the Bible said in Hebrew chapter 4 verse 2, it said, many study the word of God but because it is not mixed with faith there's no good news. They never enter into the rest of God. So when you pray, mix it with faith. Your own faith. I've told you again and again, never allow the strong man to come and sow a seed. He said when a man slept, his enemy came to sow tares among his wheat. So, listen, never allow the enemy to come and sow a seed before you say you want to pray. It is not all seed that go. What your master Jesus Christ is not doing, that is what you are doing. Then later you will not say, God, where are you? Don't allow sleeping to deny you of your blessing. Don't allow your indolence to deny you of your blessing. Go to the house of God and pray. Your television is not your house. Your internet is not your church. Hebrew 10.25 says, do not forget the assemblies of God. So your, 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 your media can never be the house of God. When you are in the church, when he said, when two or more are gathered, how many of you are gathering when you are watching television? You are television gathering. You are, and your iPro formats 11 or 13 are gathering. You are your iPhone gathering. Hebrew 10 25 said, where two or more are gathered. He said, do not forget the assemblies of God. The Bible says, where two or more gather and present. And whatsoever that is, I ask in my name. I will do it. Not you and your television. It's a revelation knowledge. Listen. First Samuel chapter 30, verse 8. Prayer make it, 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 it make you to enter encounter God direction. First Samuel 30, verse 8. 
And David inquired of the Lord. How? Through prayer. He inquired of the Lord through prayer, saying, Shall I pursue the, this troop? Shall I overtake them? The Lord answered him, Pursue for you shall surely overtake them. And with all, without fail, re fail recover all they have stolen from you. What prompts God to speak? Is it not because he inquired? Your often prayer and prayer and prayer make you to frequent God's presence. Do you know of that? Your often prayer, prayer, going to God, pray, prayer make you to go to God's presence. I think after praise you worship. After, after worship, you now enter God's presence. You know, every day you praise and worship and enter God's presence. It make, later you now become a God friend. Pray, worship, God's presence. Praise, worship. You can't just start prayer like that without praise and worship. Praise, worship, God praises. You in the internet, you just meet somebody praying. Libra Kandaya, Sondoya, be free, be free. Have you praise and worship? Am I talking? Praise and worship. But somebody you are going to meet in the internet is a person that is already praying. He has already entered God's presence. You met him praying. But you are to go to the house of God and praise and worship and enter God's presence. In the night, praise and worship and enter God's presence. Your frequent praying, praying as a habit of Christ make you to become a friend of God. It makes your spirit to be so different because you are entering into the presence of the holies of holy every time. So I'm different. You see, he says, should I overtake? It's not because he's frequented there every time. That is why he, he as he enters God's presence, he asks God. If you are not frequenting God's presence every time, do you think you can hear God the way he hears God? God said, pursue. When you never hear and you pursue, you are dead. You remember the act of the apostle chapter 16, verse 25 to 26. You were locked up in, locked up in prison. Because Paul cast out devil from that uh, from that soothsayer. But they pray and praise the Lord. But about midnight, as Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns of praise, they were praying and singing hymns of praise to God. And the other prisoners were listening to them. Solid, there was a great earthquake. The prayer singing hymns and songs and praising God, praying from a special dunamis that shake the foundation of the prison that make the prison doors to, to be broken and open. The foundation of the prison we are shaking at once, all the doors we are open and everyone shackles we are on fasting. That is the, the chain in their hands and legs we are loosed. Prayer lose anyone that is in bondage be prayerful be prayerful prayer is a thing that you do always always and always rise up often and often in the night and be prayerful that is the mind of Christ praise the living God do you know that prayer make you to be standing worthy with God Prayer protect your prosperity. Who give the seed? Who give you seed to sow? Who water the seed for you? Do you think it's a natural water that used to water the ground? No. He give you seed and he water the seed for you. Be prayerful. Acknowledge him in everything you do. Prayer is acknowledging God. In the events that is taking place in your life. Prayer will make you to stand worthy with God. Sometimes you are not standing well with God. But your prayer will help you. The more you go to his presence every way. Supernaturally metamorphosis will be taking place. Transformation will be taking place. Through prayer.
Praise the Lord. Listen, the Lord holds everything. You remember the story of that man? After he had sown a seed in the farmland, he gathered much. The harvest was plentiful. That was in Luke chapter 12, verse 19 to 21. The harvest was plentiful. Because he never regarded God so much. He never regarded God so much. He never knew. He said, next year, I'm going to, I'm going to, the farm I'm going to, I'm going to carry next year, I will plant everything. There will be no room for harvesting. As he was deciding it, the Lord said, you foolish man, tonight, your soul have been required of you. So, both you that is sowing and the seed you are sowing and whatever make the seed to grow, it holds you and everything. Yes. He a throne a king and the throne a king. Always acknowledge him in everything you do. The Bible said in the book of Job, it said, always every morning, prophesy to your money how it's not to prayer he said put the day on course tell that day tell today tell tomorrow every morning how you want it to be many of us just rise up in the morning go to shower go to work he give you strength to work he give you the strength to work all the billions you have who holds it who can tell you that you cannot use it again he said, don't be afraid of him that can kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Listen, I love one thing about that Luke chapter 12, verse yes. He said, those riches that man are gathered, who will make use of them? Please. Prayer should not be having a designated, a designated time. Pray every day. Frequent assemblies of God in prayer. Frequent assemblies, assemblies of God people in prayer. Frequent prayer meeting. Praise the Lord. Your prayer can protect your riches. Your prayer can protect your weight. Your prayer give you divine health and give you long life. And protect all your offsprings. There are a lot and lot and lot of blessings in prayer pray often and there uh, often so that you will not be saying lord why me praise the lord may the word of god be praised forever god bless you